Hi, in this question we need to complete a table of values for this equation here, y is equal to x squared take away 6x take away 2, which is saying that the y coordinate is equal to the x, time, x coordinate squared take away 6 times the x coordinate take away 2. We then need to, once we've completed this table, we need to draw the graph of y is equal to x squared take away 6x take away 2 onto this here. And then we're going to use the graph to estimate a value. Right, so to start with, we want to fill in the values into this table. Now, we should be able to use a calculator for this. Um, so I'm just going to load up my calculator here. Right, so we're saying that the y coordinate is equal to the x coordinate squared take away 6 times the x coordinate take away 2. So for this particular point here, the x coordinate is negative 2. So I want to do negative 2 squared. So remember, it's a negative number, so I'm going to put it into brackets. Negative 2 squared. Take away 6 times negative 2. Take away 2. And that gives me 14. So I'm going to write the number 14 in here. Okay. Now the next one over here is 3, so I want to do 3 squared, take away 6 times 3, take away 2, and that gives me negative 11, and then I've got 5 over here, so that's going to be 5 squared, take away 6 times 3. 5, take away 2, and that gives me negative 7. Okay, so um, that's the table done. My next task is that on this grid we need to draw the graph of y is equal to x squared, take away 6, x take away 2. So I'm, I'm going to plot the points from this table. So starting over here, I've got negative 2, 14 which I can't seem to fit onto here, so I'll move on to the next one. Negative 1, 5, and I can fit that one. That's going to go there. I've then got 0, negative 2, 0 long, negative 2, so that's going to be there. I've got 1, and negative 7, 1, negative 7, which is there. 2, negative 10, that's going to be here. 3, negative 11, which is there. 4, negative 10. 5, negative 7. 6, negative 2. And finally, 7, 5, which is there. Okay, so... Um, once I've plotted all my points, we need to make sure that we remember that we're actually going to draw the graph of this as well. So I'll do mine in a different colour. Um, and you need to draw a smooth curve that goes through all of these points. Because this is a quadratic equation, we're expecting a parabola. Okay, so the parabola looks like this. And obviously your version of this is going to be better than mine because it's hard to do on the computer like this. Okay, um, and I think that's quite a good job there. So that's my parabola, and that goes through each of these points. Um, if one of my points doesn't fit in here, I would want to check it again and just make sure, because I, um, when it's an x squared um, as the highest order, it's always going to be a parabola. When it's a quadratic, it's always going to be a parabola. Okay, so... I'm happy with that. Part C, use your graph to estimate the values of x when y is equal to 0. So what we're saying is when the y coordinate is equal to 0, what's the x coordinate going to be? So my y coordinate going to be 0 is going to be any point along this line here, which is there and there. So I can see that that's going to be 6.4. And that's going to be negative 0 0.3. So negative 0 0.3. 
and 6.4. Those are my two values of x when the y coordinate is 0. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.